Jeep dirty. Well, it's took me three hours to clean this now. Some of you guys are wanting me to do a walk around in my vehicle. So I can do some of it here. Here's these are uh, sliders that I made, rock sliders. And if you go underneath here, you can see the uh, rock crawler long arm kit. It's got Dan 30 in the front with the 456s. Switched out the rear. Got Dana 44. Disc brakes in the rear. It's got an ARB locker. Love it. Got my junky home built rear bumper. Which I'm getting a new one soon. Because that one is too low. I get it needs rear tire needs to be higher. I've, I've I hit it on obstacles. I don't have the roof rack on right now. Look at that pile. If you only had a real Jeep. Go get Grandpa some M&Ms. He'll like that. Grandpa's spending all his hard-earned money. Goes where there goes our inheritance. Light bar in the front. And that's an OR Fab front bumper. Love this bumper because the winch is really hidden in here and it does not block the radiator. Got some uh, new ha headlight housings. They put the H4 bulbs in there. They're nice and bright. So back to the Jeep. I, um, I had a uh, lock right locker in the front. And uh, it was fine we, when we lived down in the desert. But uh, when we moved up in the high country in the snow and ice, did not like it at all. It scared the heck out of me. Just uh, on slopes and things like that, this thing would just find the low side. So when I got the uh, new rear end and with the uh, selectable ARB in the back, the uh, locker, I um, pulled the uh, lock right out of the front. So it's open differential in the front right now. Eventually I'll put an ARB in the front. Just waiting. Costs a lot of money. And uh, that'll be the best of both worlds. Um, but yeah, re-geared it. 456s, um, slip oak eliminator on the transfer case, uh, rear disc brakes, um, the rock crawler. It's a three link front suspension really like that that it just flexes so nice and i'm um, running um 285 75 16s which is you know equivalent to a 33 inch tire i don't need any bigger um yeah would i, would I like to have 35s or 37s sure uh do i like all the other stuff associated with it no it just uh you know it just sucks power from the engine i mean as it is the motor needs more horsepower and it's got the 4.0 and that even after re-geared it, it kind of sucks when you throw the whole family in here um oh I, in the rear end it's got uh, 33 spline chromoly axles uh, with, with that locker in there so um next thing is uh hopefully uh, put a new or fab uh, rear bumper on with the tire carrier waiting for that to get built and then uh Not sure what else I want to do next. I want to get a nicer roof rack. I don't have it on here now. I don't like the one I have, but it, I mean it works. But you know, I want something lower profile. And um, but yeah, I've uh, I've I've done a, did a video on the uh, cargo carrier cargo uh, rear cargo uh, system I have in the back. I, I use that all the time. I, I, I it's been real helpful. So other than that. It's uh, been a fun vehicle, and uh, I think eventually, oh, I know what I want to do. I want to put some raw, um, I need to plate the frame rails, that's my next thing. And then uh, eventually, I want to uh, put coil suspension in the rear. That uh, That's a ways down the road, though. So, Anyways, we're still heading up the mountain, and uh, the weather's just absolutely perfect for wheeling today, because it's, it's probably in the low 50, 50s right now, and it's, very, it's windy, but it's just nice. I, I don't like wheeling when it's super hot. Engine gets hot, everybody inside's hot. This is nice. 